This is Max Caputo. I have made him the worst player in world football. In fact, we have taken him from 51 overall to one overall. Like literally every one of his stats is one. And I made him one star weak foot, one star skill moves to make things even harder. But today we're gonna take this unlikely superstar and win him a Ballon d'Or. God, that is a sad sight to see. You could almost say his stats are kaput. But a huge issue is that we have massive competition at the striker role. Jamie McLaren is one of Australia's best strikers and he is the only other striker at Melbourne City. Unfortunately, Melbourne City fans are gonna hate me doing this, but it's for the best. We need to release Jamie McLaren. Striker domination is ours. Let's get into it. First things first, we need to get our skill moves and weak foot up to five star. Give ourselves as many advantages as possible. So we're gonna work on the weak star with the weak foot first. Look, I'm not surprised. We played 29 games, zero goals, zero assists. We suck. I don't think it was ever up for debate that we suck, but we did get ourselves up to a 12 overall, which is nice. We've got five star weak foot, two, two star skills, but we have some serious work to do. And honestly, the thing I want upgraded is stamina and finishing because we've been getting subbed off at half time of every game because we have such bad stamina. So we're missing out on almost half of the football we could be playing. But I'm gonna be honest, I would really be surprised if we even scored a single goal in our career before we were 20 years of age. In real life, Melbourne City are a juggernaut. They won the A-League Minor Premiership for the third consecutive season and lost in the A-League Grand Final. But this experiment has made them terrible. We came dead last in the A-League and got one point in the Asian Champions League group stages. I'd say I'm sorry to Melbourne City, but I'm really not. This might just turn out to be the most difficult challenge I've ever done in my YouTube in Korea, but let's crack on to season two. So here we are at the start of season two. We are 12 overall our potential i just checked it it's not great we've gone from a 70 down to a 42 yeah a 42 we had 28 overall points knocked off that might be the biggest drop off in career mode history all i want this year is just a goal and honestly, there's no point trying to even look for a move away from Melbourne City because nobody is going to want us. Oh, this is going to be brutal, man. This is going to be brutal. 26 games, zero goals, zero assists again, only a plus seven. For me, the number one priority in these first few seasons is development. Getting us up to a respectable overall. And honestly... We're not making as good progress as I wanted to. We're five star, five star now, but I need us getting up to like the 50, 60 range. Oh, we're gonna have to really, like we, we might be screwed. But we've made progress with City lads. We didn't get the wooden spoon. That goes to Adelaide United. Unlucky Master Bucks. Ironically, Max Caputo has submitted a transfer request. Where do you think you're gonna go, Max? You wouldn't even make it in the NPL four at this point. You wouldn't even make it in the Cronulla Seagull Sunday League team. I'm genuinely nervous to see this potential next season. So we went up one overall in the last week of the year, but our potential has remained the same, which is honestly better than I expected. I thought our potential was going to be in the 30s, but we stay at a 42. I'm just praying. Just give us just one goal, one assist, something to show the FIFA gods that we deserve an upgrade in our potential. But lads, if you are enjoying this video and you aren't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below. We are on the push towards 500,000 subs. And honestly, I think this video is going to send me to the brink of craziness. So I think if we ever deserved a subscription, today is the day. Oh, this is not going to plan. This is not going to plan. I want it to be around 40 overall by this point when I first started recording. We haven't scored a goal again. We're only going up plus four overall, 24 overall. Oh, this is, this is not great. We're slowly moving our way up the A-League table though. Eventually, eventually, surely we're going to make Melbourne City champions. But to be fair, our team isn't that bad. We've got Naboo, we've got Jordy Bosa. We've got a good team for A-League standards. It's just us and the midfield that are kind of slacking off. I'm thinking I might have broken FIFA 23 because our potential, once again, 42. Maybe 42 is the lowest your potential can get. And I mean, we have no right to even be thinking about the Ballon d'Or at this point, but Kylian Mbappe has won it and that is not really a surprise. Oh my God, we did it, lads. We scored a goal. One goal, yes. 
We gotta go with Max Caputo. It's still not gonna get us a Ballon d'Or, but it's a start. Plus five overall as well. Things are not looking great, but we got a goal and that's given me a little bit of optimism. We actually made the playoffs this year as well. We made the A-League finals, but we lost to Sydney FC in the elimination final. Again though, a step in the right direction. All right, before we go and release this guy, we're gonna check our potential and it is 49. So one goal has given us a little bit of a push in the right direction from 42 to 49. But again, that is such a small potential that that plus seven feels almost insignificant. All right, we've signed two random free agent center midfielders. And that means Cristo Gonzalez, who would have been a good signing, but he's getting in our way of our plans. Get back to the free agents. Now let's go and see if we can score more than one goal or just get one goal again with Caputo. Please, please get in there. Get in there. That is okay. That is really good. I hope this trend continues because we have quadrupled our goal scoring tally from last year from one goal to four. We've gone up eight overall to 37. Things are heading in a good direction. Please, dynamic play potential. Follow suit. Also, signing Rocco Ascone has been a great pickup for us. Eight goals for him. He gets the golden boot. Although, to be fair, I kind of want us to get the golden boot. So, hopefully, Caputo keeps going in the right direction. Something not going in the right direction, though. Our standings in the A-League table. But that might not matter come a few years from now because I might start thinking about a move to another league where we can get more than 26 games in a season because playing in the A-League is good for getting some growth but it's not good for games played. Ideally, I would love to be in League 2 where we can get 40, 45 games a season. But for now, let's focus on Melbourne City and let's focus on a good dynamic player potential. We're into the 50s, baby. Let's go. 55 potential. That's better than our base overall when we started off like in real life, which is a 51. 55 potential. Let's just get ourselves up into the 40s this year and have another good performance for our standards in terms of goals scored so that the dynamic player potential continues to move up. And I think I've already accepted the fact that if we win a Ballon d'Or, it's going to be late. We're going to be a late bloomer. Keeping one eye on the Ballon d'Or though, and this year it's between Haaland, Mbappe, Darwin Nunez, and Vinicius. So pretty casual, like pretty normal suspects. And the Ballon d'Or again, it goes to Kylian Mbappe. He is getting into his, look at those stats, 99s all over the board, but he is getting into his late 20s though. So hopefully by the time we're around, he's long gone. Well, uh, that's not, that's not ideal. That is not ideal. One goal, zero assists. We've gone backwards. We've gone up six overall, but one goal is not ideal, ladies and gentlemen. And I feel like I may have sabotaged myself because Rocco Escone continues to be a superstar. I'm going to put it out there though, lads, that once we hit 60 overall, if we hit 60 overall, that's when I'm going to move away from Melbourne City. But clearly, we've got a lot of work to do if we want to get to that marker. And our potential has suffered here at the start of the season after only getting one goal last year. It remains at 55. And honestly, I think we should count ourselves lucky that it hasn't gone down. We're 22 years of age. Let's go see what this season has in store for us. Come on, lads. That's exactly what we needed. Yes, we get 10 goals and we even add an assist to the total. We're starting to find our footing here in the A-League. It helps that we've got a really good team around us. I mean, Tilio is 83 rated, so we were, I assume, getting fed. But that is a great, great season. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Only plus three is disappointing, but I'm hoping that we get a massive benefit in terms of the potential. Fingers, toes, everything's crossed. We did make the playoffs again this season, but unfortunately, again, we lost to Sydney FC in the elimination finals. I think next season, I want to build an Avengers level A-League team and get us an A-League title and get us just distribution galore. But let's go and see what our dynamic player potential is looking like. It's a 65. It's a 65. We had two seasons of staying at the exact same potential, but all we needed was a breakout season. And now it is all on our shoulders to just get good season after good season after good season. And we might be able to salvage something here. But I'm about to put some serious work into the areas of our squad where we lack. We've got some solid talent here, 
but let's make this one of the greatest teams in A-League history. So we've made some serious additions to the side here, a new left midfielder, two new center backs, a right back, and a goalkeeper. This Bailey dude, not gonna lie, looks like a bit of a stud. 21 years of age, 78 overall, English center back. Hopefully this team can deliver an A-League title for Melbourne City and Caputo, a million trillion gazillion goals. Let's go, we finally get the golden boot here here at Melbourne City, 15 goals, one assist again. Are we ever gonna get more than one assist? But 15 goals, we're up to 55 overall now. We are making good progress. Time is definitely of the essence, but we're starting to get some hope into this. Some of our stats are still absolutely dreadful. Like we're balanced, but we're still just crap. How did we go with this Melbourne City team though in the A-League? Okay, so we came third in the regular season. That's our best regular season finish to date. We beat, oh, it's a double out. We beat my favorite team, the Western Sydney Wanderers in the elimination final. Semi-final, we thump Wellington Phoenix. We're versing Adelaide in the A-League final and we win a toilet seat. Get in there, lads. That is exactly what we were after. Let's go check out how we're looking next season. Oh yes, come on. Our potential is now what it was at season one. We have a potential of 70 with Max Caputo. And I know I said that I wasn't gonna leave Melbourne City and the A-League until we hit 60 overall, but we're close enough. I wanna get more than 26 to 30 games a season. So we are going to add Caputo to the transfer list. I'm trying to get a move to like EFL League Two, to like a Harrogate Town or somewhere like that. And I'm gonna set up a new rule here, a new twist. We're not allowed to move clubs anymore until we win silverware. We've got an offer here from the Chinese Super League. It's Hanan. I need to see how many games do they play in their season. Okay, so they play 30 games in the Chinese Super League. That is still not enough for me. We may as well stay in the A-League at that point, rejecting Henan. We're only, maybe we're only going to get Chinese Super League teams. Maybe I need to wait another season before we get English and more longer seasons coming in. No, I don't want to go to Guangzhou for Grande. We're genuinely only getting transfer offers here from Chinese teams, so we're going to stay here for another season at Melbourne City, removing Max from the transfer list, which also means I'm gonna release all of the strikers that I just signed, purely signing them because I, if we had an offer I wanted to accept, we had squad numbers and we wouldn't get the transfer talks breaking down. 2030's player of the year, who is that? Who, who is, is that Messi's regen? Augustine Serrano, we're at the point now where the regens are winning Ballon d'Ors and we're still in the A-League. Not our best season, seven goals. That's definitely a step backwards. Tilio has absolutely killed. He's 87 rated. Tilio's 87 rated. Jeez Louise. Regardless though, we're up to 62 overall. We're gonna be 26 next year. Oh, we're cutting it fine, man. We need to move out of Melbourne City. That is a hundred percent. Hopefully no more Chinese clubs are coming in for us. But we have gone back to back as A-League champions. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Two A-League trophies to add to our title cabinet. We only had one loss all season, all regular season. That is unbelievable. One of the best teams in A-League history. Where are we gonna go though? That is the big question. Okay, okay, nothing incredible, but our potential is 73. We've got to go somewhere this year and make ourselves a superstar. Like we cannot afford any more bad seasons. But we're gonna throw ourselves back on the transfer list once again. <laughs> we're not getting Chinese Super League clubs anymore. We're getting Indian Super League. I don't want that. I know we're not trying to sell Tilio, but Fulham, my favorite club have just come in 104 million pounds for Marco Tilio. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna be leaving Melbourne City hopefully. Let's, let's help out my favorite team in the process. It's official lads, Marco Tilio is a Fulham player. Now we really need to get out of here. Abandoned ship, I repeat, abandoned ship. It's a move to Italy, Syria B I assume. You know what, I'm accepting that one, Benevento. It's not where I expected to go, but Max Caputo is off to Benevento for 960,000 pounds. We've officially made it to Europe, which means so are we. We are packing our bags 
heading from Australia to Italy. But we need to hit the ground running here at Benevento. We need a great season on the score sheet and we want to win Serie B. Because again, we can't leave Benevento until we've won some silverware. There is a lot of striker competition though at the club. Bianco, I'm sorry, get used to it lads. I'm releasing all of the strikers. I don't want any competition. I want this to be, I want this to be a dictatorship. That's not a terrible first season here in Italian football and in Europe. We've gone up to a 69 overall, which is definitely a good start. That's definitely a step in the right direction. 10 goals in the league and then one in the playoffs. Oh, we're in the playoffs. Okay, we're in the playoffs. Are we going to win some silverware? So we came seventh in the regular season with Benevento. And then in the playoffs, we... Where are we? We lost in the quarterfinal to Brescia. Yeah, nah, we, we haven't won any silverware this first season. Oh, we could have been gone on a free transfer here. I didn't even recognize that. Nobody came in for us, but... Can we, yeah, we're gonna get a two year contract extension. We really need to step it up though. We need another good season. Double digits is a non-negotiable. I'm now considering 10 to 15 goals as an average season. We need above average seasons. We're 26 years of age, 69 overall, and our potential is 78. We need that into the 80s and beyond as fast as possible. Player of the year, who is it? Mbappe! How old is he right now? 33 years of age, still no. 95 rated and Barbe has won his third Ballon d'Or in this video that we know of. I haven't been checking every year. And Barbe, stop it, please. Come on, Maxi. 19 goals, four assists. That is a career best season in both of those departments. And we're almost a gold card on Ultimate Team. We're 74 overall, plus five this year, which is great. And I'm praying to the FIFA gods that our dynamic potential goes up again significantly. This should be a significant growth next year, please. I'm also hoping we won some silverware so that we can start thinking about a potential move next year or maybe in the future. Oh, we've come seventh again. We're in the playoffs again. Venezia won the playoffs. We were eliminated 5-1 in the semi finals to them we're getting closer but still no silverware at benevento do we win do we do anything in the cup into milan won that how did we go we lost in the third round yeah we're, we're rubbish it's starting to get quite nervy up here lads we're 27 years of age 74 overall and we have an 82 potential it's decent but it's not going to make us one of the best players in the world another concern i have is that we are in 2033 and career mode in FIFA 23 goes up to 2036 slash 37. Now I do have a mod that can extend career mode, but that has often crashed my computer. So we need to lock in. But our team at Benevento needs some work. We still need to win some silverware here before we can even think about moving clubs. So I'm gonna go on a spending spree as Benevento manager and get our squad up to scratch. There we go, lads. Four signings, an attacking midfielder, a center back, a center defensive midfielder, and Etienne Green off the free agents list. I'm really happy with that. I'm hoping it's enough for us to get a Serie B tie and maybe get a move away from Benevento. But we also just need to make sure that we have a good season with Caputo and keep things moving. Are we nominated for the Ballon d'Or? No, we're not. Oh, what a robbery. That is a great sign though. We have won player of the month here in November. But the Ballon d'Or is going to this guy, which is Eden Fournier. This dude looks like a freak of nature. My God. Get in there. What a season here for Max Caputo. We have got ourselves 31 goals. The growth isn't exactly what I wanted, only plus four, which most seasons is really good, but we need like plus six, plus seven, if we're any chance of completing this. But hopefully our potential skyrockets because of this season. But we have got ourselves our first piece of silverware at Benevento. We have won the Serie B title. We're heading up to Serie A next season. The question is though, do we want to stay or do we tr want to try forcing a move to a big club or at least a bigger club than Benevento? But the big question, what is our potential looking like next season? All right, that is exactly what we needed. Our potential now up to an 86, but I'm telling you, we've got to get our overall up there as well because we are rapidly running out of time. And you know what, lads, I've got to do it. I'm adding Caputo to the transfer list, hoping we can get a move to a strong club because I don't think we're going to be able to get decent goals at Benevento. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. 
yeah, 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 yeah. I'm accepting that every day of the week. Every day of the week. Bayern Munich. I honestly didn't expect a club as big as Bayern Munich to come in for us. That is a godsend. Accepted every day of the week. We've got another offer in here for Caputo. It's from Monza to stay in Italy. I'm sorry, Monza. I loved you after the Imperialism series, but not right now. Let's go, lads. We get it over the line. Max Caputo is heading to Germany, heading to the Bundesliga Giants in Bayern Munich. And of course, that means so are we. So this is the Bayern Munich side we have inherited. I'm not going to lie. It's not the best Bayern Munich side I've ever seen, but there are still superstars in this team. You guys already know what time it is though. Lozek, I have to release you. This dude is a stud, but we can't let him get in the way of Caputo's destiny. We need another insane season though. Come on, can we get nominated? Nah, we're not nominated. I was hoping we might. I mean, we got 30 plus goals, but it was in Serie B. So hopefully we can find ourselves maybe in the picture next year, but it is gonna be Erling Haaland winning the Ballon d'Or this year. He's 34 years of age, but he's still 94 overall. Come on! Yes! Oh, does that put us in Ballon d'Or contention? Does that put us in Ballon d'Or contention? 37 goals, 7 assists, and we're up to an 84 now, which is beautiful. We're 29 years of age. We are starting to find our prime, and the momentum is certainly in Max Caputo's favor. No! We finished second in the Bundesliga, though. Oh, my God. We finished second in the Bundesliga. We haven't won our first piece of silverware with Bayern Munich. We didn't even win DFB Pokal, but at least we won the German Super Cup. That counts. That counts. I know it's a cheap way for it to count, but it counts. RB Leipzig have done the treble. They really, no, wait, no, they've done the double because they won, they didn't win the DFB Pokal, but they've done the double and they beat us in the Champions League quarterfinals. That's the end of the 2034, 2035 season though. We need to, we're running out of time. We need to be nominated next year. Please, I really want to be nominated. I honestly think our stats could put us in contention, but our overall might be our downfall. So here we are at the start of this next season and our potential has officially cracked the 90s ladies and gentlemen 91 potential with max caputo and we need to get we honestly need to get as close to that as possible this year i do want to make some big changes to this squad though because we've got a very aging squad and honestly in terms of overall it is not as good as bayern munich should be in typical bayern munich fashion we have taken away the top talents from some lesser clubs we've got a left midfielder from west ham united a center back from Frankfurt and a right back from Augsburg. Who will be 2035's player of the year? We are not nominated. Morales, Foden, Fournier, and Haaland. All right, we're gonna turn our attention to this year, lads. I really thought we might have been in with a shot of at least being nominated, but it is gonna be Fournier again. He's the same age of us as us, but he's 93 rated. We are really at a disadvantage. So much relies on what our overall and what our stats are at the end of this season oh my god 42 42 42 that might that's one of the best seasons we have had in this series history 12 goals in a champions league we got one goal for every game in the champions league 25 goals in the bundesliga five goals in five games in the dfb pokal we have had an unbelievable season fifa please use your head don't be biased on overall. Nominate us for a Ballon d'Or. Give us a Ballon d'Or. Come on, Maxi. Maxi Caputo for the Ballon d'Or. Please. RB Leipzig are actually cooked. They only conceded 29 goals all season, and they have only lost two games to win back-to-back -back Bundesliga titles. We do add a DFB Pokal, though, to our trophy career cabinet. We got out of our a very tough group. Round of 16, we thumped Celta Vigo. Quarterfinals, we thumped Bilbao on aggregate. Semifinals, we lost to Espanyol. That is wild. Please, FIFA gods, have us nominated for a Ballon d'Or. Please, 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 please. We would surely have to be considered one of the world's best players now. 88 overall, 30 years of age, and our potential has gone up to 93. It's not a massive increase like we're used to over the past few years, but it is an increase nonetheless. But I am just, I am so nervous. I am so nervous. 
I want us to be nominated for a Ballon d'Or this year. I don't know what much more we could do. Who will be 2036's player of the year? Show us our red jersey. We we haven't been nominated again. Mukoko, Fournier is the bane of my existence. Gil and McNeil. We scored over 40 goals and we still don't get nominated for a Ballon d'Or. I'm losing my head. And because this is 2036, it means that we could potentially be forced into retiring at the end of this year. The fact that we weren't even nominated, not even nominated, is mind-boggling to me. The growth is great to see, lads. 92 overall, 35 goals, though, is less than what we had last season. And we didn't get nominated there, so, I mean, it's still a great season. It's still an awesome season. But we're going to have to be relying on the other players in world football who have had slightly worse seasons as well. Roger Fernandez is on a bit of a run as well. 12 and 20 or 20 and 12. And he's gone up to a 90. Hopefully he's not competition as well. We just can't get over the hump and win a Bundesliga title though. It is so frustrating. And we lost to Borussia Dortmund in the Champions League quarterfinals. The crazy thing this season though wasn't Real Madrid winning the Champions League, but more FC Mets making the final. This is normally where the game makes you retire. Here's to hoping that the mod has worked for us. Perfect, the mod has worked. Now it's all up to my computer to make sure that it doesn't crash the game. Just a one overall upgrade to our potential, which is now 94. We're 92 rated right now. I just, if we're not even nominated, I'm going to be losing my mind. I'm losing my head, love. Oh, the game has crashed. The game has crashed. On the year when we thought we were going to win a Ballon d'Or, we have failed. Max Caputo, we have failed to win the Ballon d'Or with Max Caputo, a one overall player. I'm sorry, lads. I'm sorry. If you enjoyed this video and you want me to have another go at it, make sure you let me know by leaving a like. Click here to subscribe. Click here to watch another video.